What is going on, my YouTube friends? Guys, I was kind of hoping to have this thing running today. Went down, bought a new starter and everything like that. Couldn't find a daggone starter bolt. <laughs> oh, so I ended up looking around. I was cooking up some stuff and uh, they cut the gas lines. So now I got to get a repair kit for the gas lines. LMR sells a repair kit, but they won't have them until July 17th. Go figure, huh? <laughs> so, anyhow, um, as you can see, I got wires hanging out. I got some over there too. So I just got to pick up a few things so that way I can uh, get this bad boy started up and find out what's going on with her. But yeah, I was looking for the gas lines. I'm like, oh my God, they took the gas lines off. So then I crawled up right the car. The gas lines are there from the back to the front but they cut them up here. So they do have a repair kit for them, so, but they won't have them until the 17th of July. So <laughs> I'll get them then. Boy, I'm telling you what, I got the car up off the ground. I found out some more stuff about the car. The car has a positive rear end in it. Um, I didn't do the dry shaft thing yet to see what size rear end's in it. Matter of fact, I never even looked at the tag yet, so I don't know. Um, so, I mean, I was just looking at stuff on the car and this and that, trying to figure out what else I need, what I'm going to need to get it to run and this and that. So I got it off the ground. I got four jack stands underneath it. So I can go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up underneath it for a couple days until I can get my parts I need. And then we'll go from there. But yeah, I just figured I'd give you this update on it. So the wiring, because in 92, they changed the starter. They went to the high torque starter in these Mustangs. So 92 on up, they have a high torque starter. 91 back, they still have the old uh, style starter. Um, so <laughs> when they cut those gas lines, I was depressed. I shut the garage door and went in the house. <laughs> but I looked online and I found out that they do have a repair kit for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those repaired and order those, you know, I have money well spent, you know. Why in the road would you cut the gas line? I mean, was he, would they think that they needed to cut the gas line to make the race car? I mean, really, I don't know. I'm really, I need to crawl underneath there and mark that dry shaft so I can count the revolutions to see what size gears in it. I'm guessing probably a 373. That's just a guess because it's a popular rear end, but we'll find out shortly. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that by next video at least, you know, so that way we can get it going on here. Well, let me turn this around here so we can see what's going on. It's raining. It's a rainy, rainy day today. So let me turn this around and uh, let's see what we got. That beautiful rain, huh? Yeah, buddy. Woohoo! my truck did need a bath. Oh, I gotta bring the engine stand in. All right, let's see what we got here. So, I really don't have no light, much light. But you can see, Right down here is the fuel line. They cut it. Snip. So they have a, a, a repair kit that gets it there, runs it up there, and it runs up to the right there to plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. I had to take the exhaust off of it so I could uh, get everything seated right on the engine and uh, get the engine down in there set right. So. I still got a few things to do, plug in some harness wires and plug in some vacuum lines and this and that. So we got back here, sorry about the fan. But yeah, there's the exhaust right here. Doo -doo. Somebody's looking exhaust, ain't it? Oh yeah, buddy. Hey look, a battery on the floor. <laughs> so anyhow, I just wanted to show you, give you a little update what's going on today. The engine is in, it is bolted down. I do not have the exhaust on it because you see the exhaust sitting in the back of the car. So, but I'm letting you know, we are working on it. I really plan to have this thing running today, but uh, yeah, that was a shot in the foot. So I'm gonna have to get the right starter uh, bolts and because they were closed by the time I even started putting the starter on here because I'm going to do the wiring harness. This right here is the harness for the 
through the starter right here. And then they got another harness over there that hooks up for your power windows and stuff like that. And it helps bring power over here to this harness. So, yeah, we got her going on. So we'll get in there and we'll try to get that thing running as soon as I get the rest of my parts and everything that I got. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Tomorrow, Sunday, it's the last day of the weekend, which actually it's my Monday. All right, we'll talk with you guys soon.